Alright, today I'm going to go over a few more, somewhat more advanced features with the asset editor and editing data, uh, mainly over the link classes, header references, uh, probably some import export, the editor itself. Uh, so these are mostly going to come through, we're going to be humming available because of a thing called class inheritance a basic programming principle. Um, if you don't know what class inheritance means, I would very strongly suggest you go and Google basic coding programming principles. Uh, it's it, This whole thing is basically built around C++ classes shown in a more visual format. Um, so knowing how they work at a basic level is really going to help. But let's get on with it. So today I'm going to be building Ranger State, well, not building, but modifying the Ranger Station, which is a cut facility from State Decay 2. And come in here at the file and see within the code blocks in block 2, where it stores the data, as you can see, number 57, uh, which follows class 9. Uh, 57 and 49 are typically default class settings for each blueprint if it's of like a data type or an actor type. Uh, we'll look in here and we'll see we have destroy action, repair action, actions and passives. Uh, display info required slot size. There's no build action and there's no upgrade action. So if we go and look at something that we know we can build and upgrade uh, which will let's go look at the kitchen. All right, so we look at the kitchen, and there's a lot more information in here. See, they have a build action, they have an upgrade action. Uh, they've even got prefabs. So I'm assuming this will just use the generic fab or here. To see what in, it inherits from, there are two ways you can do this. Uh, you can, easiest way is just go to code blocks, find that block 9, and it will tell you what it inherits from. This inherits from facility. Uh, because it doesn't have an underscore C at the end, you can see here kitchen underscore C means it's a blueprint class, which is an asset file, kitchen.uasset. So that's kitchen underscore C. Facility does not have an underscore C, that means it's C++ class. Uh, which means it's compiled and not accessible um, currently. We're hopefully working on something to get us a bit more access into that. But for now, all you need to know is it inherits from facility. You can't edit from, from facility. Thankfully, this also inherits from facility, which means they will have access to the same variables because they all come from the same base class. So knowing that, I now know that I any stats on this side, I can put on this side, and they should theoretically mostly work the same. So how do I get things like a build action onto here? Okay, well, as I've mentioned a few times now, anything that's colored is not actually a real string. You can't just copy and paste these strings and stick them over here. It won't work. So what I'll need to do is add any missing references to the header. So actually, I don't need to in this case because they're mostly there. The object property you can see is already there. Build action is not there, but the asset editor will add it itself when I do this next step. And you can see that's green, which is I'll explain momentarily. Well, in a minute. So I want to add build action at index two get the text from here and it's going to be type object property and I'm going to add that in and after every step adding and editing data in these assets you want to hit save because the editor is a little bit unstable yeah. sometimes it will crash when you're switching views I'm still working on proving that um, but for now always edit save Okay, so that seems to have mostly worked. Will this crush it? Yes. Okay, so that's the problem. It doesn't add the values in, but that's fine. We've saved it. 
come back there it is it's now got the value of zero but we'll change it up to minus one just have something there not what we want right now but it is there's something there so let's i'll save that uh, let's say for example i just wanted to use the kitchen build action that won't actually make sense it won't work but it's an easy way to show you how i'm going to do this go into the header list and i need kitchen build action which is minus four so linked class anything that's a green like i've said before is linked class come to link class minus four yes kitchen build action links to minus 17. minus 17 right here so for us to link to this exact same kitchen build action file we need minus four and minus 17 to be in the header reference list here so i'd pop i'd hit add data and this adds rows at the bottom so i want the kitchen build action and then i also want the link to the kitchen build action now i have header references pointing to another class i'll hit file save and to link classes and duplicate what i see on this side i'm going to hit add data twice now ones at the top here you can see our script engine blueprint generate class copy that in yeah uh, and just so you know when i'm copy pasting strings i'm not actually copy pasting the string just to you know hammer this point home the asset editor is automatically converting any strings i paste in here to their header reference don't go and open the hex edit files and wonder why you can't find the strings can't put strings everywhere it's have to understand they are very different data, types of data and core object package is what i already do by default and remember that the top one the blueprint generated class links down to the bottom one so blueprint generated class has to link minus 23 that's the one just below it there and again, I don't think these have data in, so you want to save. Okay, no, it, it does work on these. Okay, that didn't work. Never mind. Never mind my never minding. Always save until I've got these kinks fixed. Uh, and the link class didn't even go through. Uh, I want that build action again. That's probably why it crashed. Or why that didn't save. Press enter a few times, that might help. Okay, so double checking what numbers these are 49 and 50. I'm going to come back into the linked class. Up 49 and 50 there. Now you can see we have script engine, blueprint generate class, which basically that but the core object which creates the path i want to hit file save again and now we can go uh, so number 22 is the one that points to 23 so when we go to none change that to two there's our kitchen build action i'll save close that open it again just to verify that all the information is there Hello references, linked classes, build action. So that's how you add data rows, that's how you add a header references, how you add linked classes, and how you use linked classes. So now whenever the game calls upon build action, this ranger station will look at that and go, there's the build action, then it will go and get that file and use whatever data it needs from that file. Next thing I want to look at is upgrade actions because I can't upgrade the ranger station currently. So let's say I wanted to add an upgrade station. I could then use uh, the pathing for this upgrade right now. But go to edit. Make sure you've got the upgrade actions sub selected because you know that's the one you're going to want. Edit, export. Uh, this will eventually ask you where you want to export it to. But for now, it just drops it in next to the file. I'm going to grab that. 
move it over to the rainy state. Now I've lost it. So over here, we want to add upgrade action into this block. And because we want to add it into the block itself, uh, you then just highlight the block, edit, import, sub imported, maybe. Sometimes it doesn't work, sometimes it does, who knows. But now we can see we've just added it in. It starts off with the word none. Again, another thing I'm hoping to fix, but for now, let's just grab upgrade actions. You know that's what the sub's called. Pop it in there. Hit save. Close and open just to verify again. As you can see, we now have upgrade options, up, uh, upgrade actions. However, we can also see it's not in the right place. So we want to grab option, it down to just below repair action. So now that's in the right place. Don't worry about the property indexes. They aren't the, they're not the order of the stats. They are a reference that I use to link the subs. So if they're not in the right order, it doesn't matter. Uh, they'll fix themselves and they will adjust the order of the subs based on the order of what they're in here. So as you can see, I've just removed upgrade actions. Actually, you won't be able to see it from this because they're already in the right order. But let's say I moved it all the way down to the bottom. Hit save. I could just click open again, but I could probably a little bit faster. Um, make this open bigger. So now you can see upgrade actions at the bottom, which is in the wrong place. So let's move it back up. Save. And no, that won't work. It's pointing at the wrong file. Never mind. It's, it's quicker to do this. Yeah, now you see upgrade actions up twice. Ordering of variables and subs is very important, as is the name, the type. Everything has to match up. If anything, even a single thing is wrong in these files, your game will crash. They will not work. You have to be very aware of the details of what you're editing. This is very this is these files have been built by the game engine in a very specific way that the game engine will work we are not supposed to be editing these files live like this realistically you would have access to the game files you'd be a developer you'd be editing this in the engine where this is a very hacky way to break in and copy and move things around so make sure everything is correct game crashes you might have done something wrong or maybe your change just doesn't work it's going to take a lot of trial of error a lot of debugging that's basically how modding works you know you, you're what you're breaking someone else's stuff in a constructive manner if it doesn't work figure out what you did wrong or just try again differently hopefully and make it work so that is everything you need to know for the basics of how to add header references, how to add link classes, how to add new properties, how to add new subs through import and export, how to use the link classes, how header references work. And um, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, hopefully the asset edit will crash a little bit less and potentially refresh itself more. That's a work in progress as always. Uh, it's now compatible with Unreal Engine version 4.11 to 4.26, which is not on the list. I need to add that. Um, it can unpack and repack the files mostly, unless it uses encryption. That's still a function I need to add in uh, with AES key. Uh, I'm currently looking at version 5.0 compatibility. Um, I mean, that's not live yet, but I'm hoping to have it uh, working once the engine is actually live. Uh, if you have any games that you are trying this with and you're not from the day of Decay 2 or the Days Gone Discords where I am currently working, uh, feel free to drop me a message here on YouTube, uh, catch me on Discord. Um, 
on one, you'll probably have to go into one of those discords that I just mentioned because uh, they're the only current games I'm modding. Um, I have looked briefly at D11 and um, there'll probably be a few other games I'm looking to. But, oh, you can message me on Nexus probably. Yeah, there you go. Nexus is a great way. Um, and that's it, yeah, that's all. That. So if you have any questions, comments, whatever, just drop them in the down below in the video, you know, the usual YouTube things. And I'll catch you guys next time.